hello, hello, hello. Um, um, doing what everyone asks, I'm going to react to episode two of Playing It Straight. Um, every few people be like, uh, isn't that homophobic? You're about to see just with the intro why it's not homophobic, actually. But, um, some good news from yesterday. John Fetterman won his primary. Nice. Um, another progressive. Summer Lee won her primary. Also progressive, you know. And Dr. Oz is right now in a deadlock tie. They're gonna, they're recounting and all that shit, but hopefully that piece of shit loses. Um, but if anything happens, um, we'll let you know. But however, in the middle of this episode, I may, I may stop to, uh, check Twitter. Because I am in the middle of a Twitter battle. I'm trying to explain CRT to a hillbilly who habitually likes to complain about how hard difficult it is because he is white. So, it trust me, it, it has been interesting. Um, but uh, I'm going to stop periodically to uh, read out those tweets and uh, tweet back. But... Yeah, um, let's start with, let's start with playing it straight though, alright, I'm going to edit my screen, um, so y'all can see. Hold on, let me get this, there we go. Alright, let's get this shit going, here's exactly why it's not homophobic. Please. The male contestants in this program may be lying or misrepresenting themselves at all times, including in their interviews. This sweet, innocent Midwestern girl named Jackie left her hometown to meet 14 men. She thought she was going to find true love, but she... She decided to get on a game show to find true love. A game show with 30 other dudes. Yeah. <laughs> he discovered that not all of these guys are here for romance. Some of them are gay. <laughs> what? I shave my legs, so it's, there's a definite possibility this man may think I'm gay. I am a straight man. Everybody's gay with me. He's like the biggest flamer I've ever met in my life. Oh, yeah. Uh, summary. They sent one guy home because she thought uh, he was gay, and then it turned out he wasn't gay. But this show is just basically finger-pointing of, oh, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay. It's insane how this somehow made it on TV. But, again, it's the mid-2000s. If she ends up picking a straight guy, she and he will each win half a million dollars. But if she falls for a gay guy, he will win the whole million, and she will walk away with nothing. Every little thing I analyze that they do, I don't think a gay man would kiss me. You want to do a sitting or stand? <laughs> oh my god, stop it. She's trying to sniff out the gay guys. What are your feminine qualities? I'm not gay. We're here. That dude's the gayest one in the show. For blood. And I don't know which one of you is starting to spread little rumors or whatever. That's a little bit much. I think. Bring it over. Come on, Joe. A man so in the end, sacrificed his arm for that love. Or will she fall for a gay guy who will win the whole million while she ends up with nothing but a broken heart? It's not like they're in it for the love. I mean, they're gay. Let's be honest. It's the loss of the money because if she's here, the heart has been broken many times already. Yeah, I have to know uh, if they're a guy or if they're straight. Tonight, on Playing It Straight, bad boy Ryan tries to convince Jackie that he's not gay, and things heat up as he attempts to out one of the guys. Okay, no spoiler alerts. Here we go. And this is why it's not homophobic. This show was hands down created by gay people. I don't think it was created for gay people. I think it was created for fucking desperate wine moms. Oh, 
Like it's created for desperate wine moms who are like, all oh, men suck. No wonder uh, these gay people be seeming like the only right ones for her. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> ha, the dog's name is Gaydor. And that's the last time we're gonna watch the fucking intro. Last week on Playing It Straight, Jackie sent two straight men home, which means that all the gay guys who started are still at Sizzling Saddles. With 12 men left, Will Jackie get it wrong again? Right, she's almost 30. She's got it wrong now almost her entire life. Now that the first is over with, I, just, I cannot go by who I don't have chemistry with. I have to look at the characteristics and start playing this game. So, I chose Ryan to serve me breakfast in bed. So she's honestly just paying bills. There's no way she's got pen and paper out to to think about all these dudes. I mean, come on. Let's be let's be real here. The producers know what they're doing. They just catch her at a time when she's like paying bills or or something. You know, maybe she's studying. Just because I thought, you know, what a better opportunity than this to figure out whether or not he's gay or straight. There's just, there's something about him I, I can't work out. I think a lot of her attention and thought is going to be all about the whole gay issue. And I have a lot of effeminate qualities. I'm into, like, fashion. I like to dress well, take care of myself. I have a lot of, like, uh, toiletries, whatever. Mm, He's so suspect. pretty almost to be, to be straight. Everything has to be matched. His hair has to be fixed. No, this guy combs his hair. That she doesn't start thinking twice. Sus. It's important for me Very to establish sus. that I'm straight. <clears throat> Well, not only is she gonna get the best breakfast she's ever had, it saved me from uh, milking cows. This morning we got up pretty early and found out that we have new um, barn chores that we have to take care of. But, uh, are we not gonna like just start off the premise that like knowing shit about horses is fruity as fuck? Like we're not gonna fucking address that in the show? Her foot's in the <laughs> After the elimination last night, I can totally tell that it's becoming much more of a game now. Now you understand boobs. Disgusting. The tension, the energy is definitely picking up. It's there. So now every day you're sizing people up, people are going to start pegging everybody else to be gay. It's kind of, yo, that, yeah, he, he, he just, I think he's gay. Well, he just used the word pegging. Disgusting. The tension, the energy is definitely picking up. It's there. So now every day you're sizing people up, people are going to start pegging everybody else to be gay. Yeah, bro. That, mm, either he's mad sus or the pro, or the producers asked him to use that terminology. That's it. Manure and, you know, schlepping all over the farm. He's back here, you know, romancing, courting the other lady that we all want to be with. So, yeah. Hey Ryan, I'm coming for you, bro. Better watch it. Well, the advantage I have over other guys in this competition is that there's only one Ryan, and I happen to be that guy. Hey! Oh, Brody. <laughs> right. He was rather late. I was getting, like, so bored. So we have a good-looking guy and a good-looking breakfast. She's going to have a good time. It was very important for me to get a kiss to convince Jackie that I'm straight. Good morning. Good morning breakfast in bed. Yes, this is it. <laughs> but I have one request for you. Okay. Even if, yeah, all right, this guy's definitely gay, but even if he's not gay, what a simp, yo. Breakfast in bed and then a flower, too? Like, bro, you're competing with 30 other dudes. She ain't worth it, bro. <laughs> in, if this was like a legit situation, she would not be worth it. Okay. I have a little ditty I do with the ladies, <laughs> which is you put the rose... You tuck it into the back of the belt, and then therefore, when they give you a hug, they feel the rose. Didn't work. You didn't know what the it fuck he's talking about. And it didn't go so well. So my whole plan was just like, blew up in my face big time. <laughs> that certainly didn't work out. What? Oh! <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a smooth guy. I, I'm a smooth operator, if you will. All right. Oh, look at this. So after I gave the breakfast to Jackie, I get a chance to look around. And the first thing I noticed on her wall was 
shelves with all of our pictures on it. And I did in fact notice two were missing. It's a weird feeling knowing that it is a game and my picture could be off that wall someday. I would like for you to entertain me with the story. I can entertain you with the talent. You have a talent? I do. Okay. I can catch things in my mouth from far distances. And then, in the middle of this wonderful breakfast that I'm having, he comes up with this genius idea uh, of grapes. You're going to throw the grapes. Now, here's the deal. If I catch three, you have to give me not like, not, nothing crazy, just a little, just a little smoochy, okay? Okay. And I'm like, oh, lucky me, I can kiss you. Bro, that's one thing I never understood. Like, all right, I get on the show, whatever, whatever, whatever. But like, yeah, if there's always a, I'll do this, and in return you kiss me, or if I do this, she'll fuck me. That ain't the right person, but that shit's gotta be instinctual in real life. That, ironically though, the if I do this, you do that type of, you know, bartering on a date, Unfortunately, that's just fucking normal place, but it's uh, it's not supposed to be that way, bro. It's supposed to just fucking, yo, if he really wants it like that, and she's about it, bro, just go in and kiss her. All the way over here, you didn't kiss yeah, us. Good. So he's all serious about it. He's getting his... But, listen, this is run-of-the-mill shit. Straight people do this, too, you know? It, 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 drives, it drives me to shit whenever there's, like, negotiations about advances, you know? A little stance ready. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Okay. <laughs> I gotta catch one more. Focus. Focus on. Okay. Just throw it on the ground. Oh, dude. At least for that, I get a kiss on the cheek. Something See, look at that bartering. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fact that they go that in depth with oh. the bartering. Old trick. Hey, give me a kiss on the cheek, and I turn my head, kiss her on the lips. You are terrible. She kind of leans forward, initiating something else. So you know, I'm gonna return the favor, and I and I kiss her. Awkward. And the next thing I know, I'm like really kissing Jackie, like for real. My plan. You're terrible. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for breakfast. She knows I'm not gay, and that's the point that I made, and um, that's really all I care about. Yeah, because that'll totally. God, that was the most awkward fucking moment ever. That dude's fucking gay. Coming up, the competition intensifies. And when the guys try to out each other, accusations fly. And he's gay! And he's gay! <laughs> and I'd like to see kick my ass as well. Yeah, I bet you would. We're gonna go uh, play real cowboy and uh, do some rodeo activity. What the fuck is a rodeo activity? No, less guys, and I can watch them even more closely. Every little thing I analyze. <laughs> <laughs> like the, I like the leg kick. You're kind of sizing people up. Woo! I think Bradley's gay. Oh, here's my list. John Gay. Bill is definitely gay. I'm getting that really This bad. is like half the show. Half the show is just this. Gay. My gay dar. I think Sharif. Oh. Maybe homosexual. Everybody's gay. For me. I, you know, I don't, I don't know who's gay. And he's gay. And he's gay. And he's gay. Thanks. He is so gay in every this way. Chris, the what? Yo, you don't get to just so You don't just get to say that casually from this pose. Sorry. Chris, the Kevin Spacey wannabe. Now Chris is definitely gay. Ryan is probably gay. We've got a whole half the show here. We're gonna have dude roping. <laughs> Whoever's the winner, that's your prize. You get to spend some time with the lady. I'm coming to you, honey. Yeah, you get to you get to spend <laughs> some time with this lady that's been through the whole team. The ribbon, without being lassoed by the ranch hands behind us, could um have a picnic with her. It's an adrenaline rush. It's an aggression. It's definitely a manly type environment. 
No, it's you against this a beast. <laughs> But it's something about just grown men in the middle of the country to just never grow up. Between, like, pretending they're in the fucking Far West, Civil War reenactments, you know, thinking violence is the solution to every fucking problem, you know, dressing up as, in costumes as adults, you know, like... This isn't, like, like, there's just something off about the whole, not, not the show. The show's the show. The show we've already established is a weird show. But everything that isn't the show, the ambiance, the cowboy, and the horse, and uh, this is very weird to me, you know? Just, yo, it's like they're playing Wild West, and it's like trying to court this woman wild west theme way like i wouldn't know how to say it you know but it's just indicative of just these people from these places behavior i feel like i don't know this is very weird like they're they're, they're trying to play far west like or wild west all i could think about was a romantic affair with jackie <laughs> Yeah, I know that, that was fun. I'd like to see this again. <laughs> Alright. Say it. You gotta focus. That's the only way that you can win this game. I'm coming to you. Yo, you know what? Low-key, this dude, right here, he's like the least into it. Like, he's just got a very casual shirt. You can... Yo, I... Actually, I... I hope this dude wins. I hope he's straight, and I hope he wins, bro. Because he's the most normal of the bunch. So far. Something happens at all, but so far, yeah. like he's just—he's clearly not into playing cowboys and shit. I'm coming to you. <laughs> no, please stay put. Fuck. I want to win. I always want to win everything I do. Say it. Go. Take it off your rug just as hard as you can, and all of a sudden you hear a galloping behind you. So I just looked to my left. Next thing I know, there's a broken horse right beside Alex. And the thought of being stampeded by a horse freaks out. Yeah, like it's not even. Like we've evolved past this. Like it's. Like why do they always want to go back in time? Like, like I'm sorry to get so hung up on this, but like we've evolved from this. We've learned that it's not comfortable to run in jeans or button-up shirts. Cowboy boots are not ideal for uh, achieving the most ideal male peak performance. Like, why, why do we want to go back to these? Look how, look how they run. They run like Rotronic. Like, it's uncomfortable. Like, who wants to do this? I'm not saying for the show. I'm saying because I, I feel like there's people that actually fucking do this. See, like, what? How, like, eating on the floor, too. Like, what? We're past that. We know that's not clean. I had everything packed away. <laughs> My strategy was, was basically just to get to know her. It's been so hard with everybody in her face all the time. So what do you think about You today? and 30 others. Yeah, today was... <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> he made me laugh, and I think a lot of women would agree with me that laughter is the best way into a girl's heart. Well, since I'm a Georgia peach... I love there's these chicks that's like, I need a country dude. I need a country dude, you know. She's like, I need, I need somebody country. It's like, yeah, you know your dating pool is full of unstable, fake, masculine, ignorant fucking men for the most part. Like, I never understood, like, well, I guess that's all they know because only chicks that say that are also country. But it's like, God. 
mostly John Go just because he annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> he's a nice guy, but I think he's just full of crap. There's a possibility that he may be gay just because he's trying so hard. What does a guy have to do to get a date with you? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> He's being way too cautious about the space. He's way too worried about his appearance, just cares about the way he looks way too much. I may look like I'm this most confident, cocky, I don't know, I've had people come up and tell me so many different things. Well, I think some guys are intimidated down. by you. I, I really do. Luciano, that man is beautiful. Like, not even hot. He's like on a whole other level. Beautiful. I mean, I use... The physical appearance, you know, to kind of protect myself. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Damn, did I? <laughs> Should have said that part. I'm focusing on actually opening up a little bit more. We really have to start pulling her towards me a little bit more. This would be great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, things heat up. Yeah, now I can see kick my ass as well. Yeah, I bet you would. Oh, yeah. So we got back from rodeo and uh, we were told that there's going to be a barn dance and we had to uh, pick out shirts. Dark blue, call me. Sorry, guys. We went and chose from a rack of clothes and everybody was just grabbing things right and left. The blue is my color, so immediately I called dibs on the blue shirt. So Chad grabs my shirt. We end up playing tug war with the hanger. Oh, oh, no, I can't let it go. I called it, so fair is fair. Ryan, he's obviously very flamboyant. All of the qualities of um, of a gay guy. Beautiful, beautiful shirt. This is crap. I am not. I was totally unhappy with my outfit. This shirt. Uh, you Yo, speaking of, it where is like my clothes from today? Chip ice cream. That's that bought. Yo, I got the nicest pair of jeans Bradley and a beautiful brown jean jacket. I'm looking for that shit because that shit was nice. Right here. Oh, here's that jacket. H&M, baby. You're the female, you're the female. You're, oh, oh, yeah, all right. You're the female, then. female. So we had to partner up. One person had to be the male and one person had to be the female, which was, you know, a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I feel like the producers put this part in the show because they were like, oh, we know for sure the gay people won't be able to contain themselves. Homophobically so, they did that because... You know, it's in the middle. Yeah, you know, it's it's mid two thousands. You know, people are still relatively prejudiced against gay people. I mean, not. I mean, much worse back then than in. Uh, much worse back then than now, but still. Before my life, there was guys. There were gay. There were dancing straight guys. Straight guys dancing with gay guys. I was just kind of taken back by everything. <laughs> When Jackie arrived at the barn dance, all the attention immediately was focused on her. Ryan's a little flamboyant, actually a lot flamboyant. He like moves his arm and gesticulates a lot and he just kind of plays it too well to not be. <laughs> John gets on my last nerve. He's always in Jackie's face and he's like, look at me, look at me over here, over here Jackie. You know, this guy is the most obviously gay guy of the group. He's getting way too into the square, the square dancing. He is definitely a threat. I think that she's certainly very physically attracted to him. If I feel like I'm in a position where I can get him eliminated from the competition, then, you know, I, I'm I'm gonna take my shot. I feel like the more muscles a woman likes, just the dumber she is. Hands down. To get Eddie drunk, I'd say, "Hey, Eddie, let's go do a tequila shot," and then we'd go up to the bar and get a couple of tequila shots. I'm a bartender myself, so I use this trick at work. We kill the shots. 
while he was talking about, oh, wow, that was so good, whatever, I spit mine back in my beer. The end result was that Eddie got uh, really smashed in the span of 20 minutes. I am from Cuba! I believe Bradley wanted to get Eddie drunk. <laughs> I am from Cuba! I'm just as white as everyone here! <laughs> just to make Eddie slip up and either say something or do something to, to insinuate his sexuality. La, 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 la. Bradley came over to me and he, and he said, look, uh, you know, Eddie's getting wasted, this is what I'm doing. Bradley's a thinker, he's playing the game pretty smart. I like, I like what I'm hearing there, Bradley. Yeah. You know, Eddie's over there, like, you know, losing around, whatever, and I think he's, you know, he's about done for the evening. So at that point, I took the liberty of walking over, <laughs> and I just, I ripped it right in his face. <clears throat> oh, God! Come on! <laughs> Ryan farted <laughs> in uh, Eddie's uh, general vicinity. Oh, that is the most oh, disgusting oh, thing oh, I have oh, ever oh, heard oh, in my life. I made sure I turned around quickly to find out where she was, because, you know, I was like, dude, I'm toast if she heard that. I think maybe the next couple ranches over heard it. Whoa. You did not have to fart over here. By, you know, grade school, instinct. You immediately turn to the guy next to you and point the finger. So I was like, you know, saying that Eddie did it. You have a Oh, I have a unique sense of humor. I really do. What I think is funny. A lot of people probably don't think it's too cute. You fart in front of somebody's face so it can rise up into your nostrils? That's a little bit much, I think. I really don't know exactly what happened. All I heard was Eddie swearing. I think the alcohol got to him a little bit. Yeah, Ryan's about mouth. It was... I want to to Eddie. He smells good. I don't want any cologne. It must be my Old Spice deodorant. Or your... Yes, I... Yeah. Right. Yes, I know. I gotta run the ad. I don't care the ability to to egg people on and push people. Not yet, though. Every time before it's gonna happen. I got three no, minutes. Uh, I'll run it when they yeah, drop the. Uh, when they go into the intermission. Do, do, maybe you should concentrate on that. I wanna concentrate on you, Eddie. Come on. Huh? I really didn't know what to think. I was rather disappointed. You know what? I'm going to bed. I really don't want anything to do with it. Bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> I felt the tension and it just, it truly made me feel awkward. All right, here's the ad. All right, I'm going to put it on, I got to step out for a second. I'm going um, to put it on B right back, all right? I'm going to be back in a minute, but the ad's going to play first.
All right, my bad. Um, ad played. Uh, dope, but um, I don't even know what the ad was. But um, yeah, I was gone for longer than expected. I had to pick up something from my plug, you know, which I will be smoking during this transmission. But let's continue this. Something happened where this guy's gonna get mad and they bust his fucking head open. But um, Eddie's really drunk and they're trying to get him to come out the closet. Let's continue. Actually, Barney, I was so frustrated. I just went back to my room and I just I went to bed. Yeah, she needs to brush her teeth out of all the dudes she made out with on the same fucking day. We came back to the house. I was hoping, you know, just kind of get away from everybody, go to the hot tub, relax. Eddie, out of nowhere, stumbles towards the hot tub. He's just wearing his white little boxer brief and um, falls into the hot tub. He's sitting there, you know, getting in the hot tub with his tidy whities on. Which first off is like, you know, my first flag. Shouldn't He's be never been, been to level. Europe. But then Ryan starts antagonizing them. And when we got to that point, I was like, okay. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed about America, tidy whities banned. Never wear tidy whities in America. Never be seen wearing tidy whities or Speedo bathing suits in America. In Italy, I, you can't, yo, know, that, I think that's the preferred underwear, like. Like, whenever I lose my luggage, because it happens, like, a lot whenever I'm going to Italy, especially in Bologna. Yo, my backup underwears at my mom's apartment are just straight up tidy whities Like, no, no cap. Mm. That is, in Italy, you go to the store, like, I think that tidy whitey is just the choice. I don't even, you don't even see them fucking, like, spandex shit. This is enough. I don't want to get myself caught up into this situation. That was the gayest flick of water I've ever seen. Look at this shit. This situation. That is sus. That is sus. Come on. I know we're not supposed to be like, that's gay, that's gay, that's gay, because that's what everyone's doing on the show, but that, that flick of water was pretty sus. So he kind of saw what was about to happen. He just kind of scoots off out of the hot tub. That's when the fun began. Come in, I apologize. Come in. Oh, that's... He invited me to sit down next to him. So I did. This about to get this about, about to get nice graphic thing, you know, and steamy. Because I'm good like that, and you should totally cut it off. Who's winning? Me, he's being Ryan. Come on, Ryan is totally, he's totally gay. But you should, you should keep this around. Why do I care? Yeah, that's my. You could give me seven dollars. What does that mean to me? He started whispering Spanish ditties in my ear. Mi amigo, eh? See, si, mi amigo. Holmes. He could, he could be straight and just fucking with him to try to get him to do some gay shit, and then he'll be like, "I got you, ha." Huh? I mean, don't forget, nothing is more cunning than the procedures a man will go through to get a bag. I'm telling you. Licks my neck. Licks okay, my well, neck. the lick neck now that everything I said can be thrown out the trash. The lick neck, you can't come back from that. Yes, sir. Where did I put my. I remember screaming like a woman. I remember screaming. Eddie's gay. Yeah, screaming like a woman, exactly. Eddie's gay. trying to push everybody's freaking buttons and it's ridiculous like um like grab my ass and so it does hang out gay okay. i'm not kidding you sure yeah. i think that ryan is one of these people who would try to elicit a reaction just i bet you they buttons. both go home hey, hey, hey. Chill out, chill out, chill out. after this whole thing happened which i'm freaked out about i go to my room i'm just gonna go to bed you know sleep it off like right next to work, like right there, and hugging each other. And I don't know what happened after that. 
because that's when I walked off. I was like, no, I had enough. <laughs> the sad part of that is, is that Ryan takes things. And then I hear Banks out there jibber jabbering on the porch there. You know, I hear him, I hear my name. Ryan, Eddie, whoever. You know, have at it, dude. Be a jackass, all you want. So then at that point, I, I crawl over to my balcony. I start listening to see, you know, what exactly Banks is saying. There's several moments where I'm like, listen, dude. Shut the f up. Just shut up. Shut up. You know, I've had it. He's just out there dogging me, so. I decided to go confront Banks face to face and see if he would. Oh, that's so feminine. A confrontation. Dog. What? You get. Your reactions are giving it away. The reaction of that dude being gay and then. Immediately right after, he goes on a on, on a feminine on a girly screening tension. Hey gang, and now, oh, I'm looking for a confrontation, bro. This guy is giving it away. I mean, he gave it away without even saying anything. But your window's open. Yeah, it is. Right. I'm here now. If you think, think I'm right here now, if you think I'm gonna, you think I'm backing down? And I'm just curious if you to repeat what you said in front of my face. So, dude, I've been talking for hours. So if you can talk that long, maybe talk me more. More oh, oh man, he sounds just like a assistant principal, your mom, girlfriend that wants a confrontation. I'm telling you, he sounds like like the worst of every female a man will have to deal with in his life here in this moment. Me, how old are you? Thirty. Still too young for Alzheimer's. Dude, don't be a punk. Don't be a bitch. Bro, he's being you smart, bro. He gets such a bitch. You more than maybe that's punk even better. You well, well, maybe that's even more than that. Maybe that's when people tell me what the f you're gonna say. I'm a loud mouth, and you shut. I need to, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, okay, thank you. Right. Does that refresh your memory? Yeah, it helps. Yeah. Right. So yeah, at times you need to shut up. Okay. Well, I'm there for you though. I'm in my bed, right? I like to don't push my buttons, dude. Don't. I may push in something else, dude. I like don't games. Be a Yo, I swear to God. Though, no, you tell that dude. Dude, you might be feminine, but you are no girl. I will slap the fuck out of you. That's how you have that conversation. I mean, of course, I wouldn't because I'm a pussy, but, you know. <coughs> but ideally, that's how you would have that conversation. You think I'll see your door open? You think I'll... Yeah, you know I will. Like, don't push my buttons, dude. Don't I make this into something else, dude. I like don't be a I like games. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, and I like to see you kick my ass as well. I'm not gonna let you. you bro, you're the smallest dude in the world. It's not gonna happen. What did I come down for? What did I come down for? Like, it's right. the face? I should right, not. Bro. You're not gonna win tonight, dude. Okay. I'll tell you what, Banks. I'm gonna go back to my room. I'd love to hear much more than talk about me. Come on, dude. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good night, bro. I'm not going to compromise my own dignity. I'm not going to compromise my own self-respect. And I'm not going to ever compromise the way that my mother looks at me. But if that piece of confronts me again, I pray the people around me will pull me away. You're not going to do shit, bro. It's all... Yeah, I, I feel like January 6th was... Uh was a pent up anger from just hillbillies saying they was going to do something, do something, do something, do something. I swear to God, I'm going to do something. Even towards individuals, bro. And then they just took all that anger and brought it with them on January 6th. Well, you know me, fucking hillbillies I know claiming that they're going to fight, fight, fight. Country people, they're not about that life, bro. Apparently you, uh, <laughs> were whispering sweet nothings in Ryan's ear. Yeah, that's probably Ryan talking. Good morning. Hey. Hey, you guys 
I'm not necessarily uh, regretful of what I said to Ryan, but I am concerned about myself with Jackie. I think that she felt a little uncomfortable with the situation between me and, and, and Ryan. I was a little, a little nervous because she no doubt heard me through the yard running, screaming at Eddie again. And I will wait and see. Any little thing they do, I'm watching them. And that, that one move that they make, it could cause them an emotion. Swing dates are my last chance to figure things out. I just want to know what went on last night. And there's just so much tension going on right now. It's driving me crazy. Swing dates, it can be the kiss of death. Hello, there, Keith. Bye. Thank you. Uh, it's one of those situations where you don't feel real comfortable. You know, you're not real sure why you're out there. We thought that those individuals were being asked to do a swing date so that she could ask their opinion. She could get some insight from them. So, whose fault do you think it was last night for that outburst? I think alcohol was the catalyst, without a doubt. You know, I definitely think. But I think it was. Yo, they all look the same, so I don't even know if this was the guy that was getting them drunk. I want to say yes. Or. I don't know if this is the guy who was getting them drunk or the guy that was fighting. They all, literally, they're all just photocopies of each other. Confrontational and one is kind of up from the other and so it escalates and more and more and more. It just kind of went from there. Have you ever gotten like that? You're just kidding. Dude, I'm going to bust your head open, all right? Yeah, you know I will. Push my buttons, dude. Don't make me do something else, dude. I'd like to see you kick my ass as well. Yeah, I bet you would. Last night, I was taken to a point where I was being pushed and I, you know, was on the verge of going in a direction that is not familiar with to me either. It's a difficult situation, you know, there's just, it is. there's so much going on and there's, and everybody's vibe for your attention, so it gets to be a little bit too much sometimes. Well, um, how about I walk that over there? That would be perfect. Walking away from swimming, I did not feel any bit better. I wanted to tell her how I was feeling and if there was any doubt on how I felt about her, I wanted to put those concerns and those thoughts to rest. Thanks. So. Mm -hmm. Thanks. There was no kiss goodbye, so it made me a little bit concerned. And I was like, hmm, alrighty. It's not a good thing or a bad thing to be on a swing date. It depends on what Jackie's thinking. Jackie, hi. You look beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I went on a swing date with Eddie because I wanted to hear Eddie's side of the story. Well, I had a few questions for you. I was kind of clueless as to what went on last night. I don't know what happened, so would you like to explain your part? Ryan did something kind of rude. Like? He farted in my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. You know, and I thought that there was that that was a little bit crossing the line. What are your thoughts on how you reacted to it? Do you think you I, were a little bit out of line? Maybe because I had had a couple of beers, couple? you know, to say the least, and some tequila shots. Exactly. And some tequila shots, <laughs> yeah. That is really disgusting. Yeah, the thing is that like that right there is fruity as shit, but gee shit, thespians behave that way all the fucking time. Do you always get like that when you No. Know? Why would, you, why would you do that? I, I have like a quick fuse. Like I get angry really fast and I'm like <laughs> I don't get I, I don't get angry just like like often just like that. Well, thank you so much for coming out here on the swing date. I had to hear Eddie out though. I really did because Eddie had a little bit of an outburst and it was uh, kind of inappropriate really. I'm a little bit nervous about the elimination point. Everybody I think is is a little bit anxious. As long as they don't pick me, she doesn't pick me last again. Got a couple ideas for my favorite. I'm sure you've got the same ideas. I think tonight Alex will be going home. He's just too shy. I think it's a toss up for me. I think I could be one. And then again, if she's been interested by me, um, then, uh, then I'll stay. I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm going to stay. I don't think I'll be going out this early. Eliminations come up tonight. Something tells me to be prepared for anything. Oh, God. I'm really nervous tonight because if I send two more straight guys home, I get no luck and no money. 
That is right. Anyone really knew what was going to happen. Everyone was kind of on, you know, the edge of their seat with what had gone on with Ryan and, and Eddie the night before. to leave the ranch. Eliminations are just horrible. Nobody's confident. She's kicked out two straight guys. She's going to need to start paying attention because, you know, she could lose half a million dollars. Okay, I'm seeing you the drill. Who do you want to talk to first? Um, I was freaking out. I have to figure out who's getting straight. You can just tell that they're nervous and they're just shaking in their boots and, you know, it's just a very intense night for everybody. John. John is gay. He's got a very stylish hairstyle. I don't... I stylish know. hairstyle equals gay. Just wreck me. And if you'll have me, I would love to stay. Don't shave. That is feminine. Yo, who is this guy? Like, the whole show, I never saw him. Who is this? The first time I saw you, my heart just smiled. <laughs> I just hope that I can return that favorite to you. It's definitely. <laughs> that was so sweet. Cool. Chris. I think Chris is definitely gay for two reasons. He says a lot of S's with his words, and also he has blonde highlights, and I don't know. Listen, if you got a speech impediment, that's gay. According to Chad, who works in corporate communications. Any of my straight friends that have blonde eyes. Yo, that's a giveaway. Yo, he said, he said, hold on. He said. Highlights, and I don't know any of my straight friends that have. He said, I don't know any of my straight friends. Giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Blonde highlights. I hope that you'll give a chance to stick around some more so you can find out a little bit more. It's definitely. <laughs> How about Luciana? I just hope we can give me a chance to let you know a bit more about me. And, uh, yeah, I gotta say something. She, <laughs> she just wants to fuck me. Luciano, I believe, is gay. Just the way he dresses, most of the cut-off t-shirts, cares about the way he looks way too much. Don't give a fuck about your appearance. Uh, you're a beautiful woman, but most importantly, you're smart. And you know what you really want in life. Well, thank you. <laughs> Bradley. I'm a pretty interesting, multifaceted, fun kind of guy. I'm multifaceted. Get the, the fuck out of here. Yo, these people be thinking you're so special. <laughs> guy or the most aggressive but uh i am a gentleman and i hope that you will uh, ask me to stay with me please i'm so honored that you say that however i feel that i need someone with a really outgoing personality and you know, I admire that you're one of those observers. He's probably the most normal guy in the whole thing. So, 
so I need to know how to use straight up from there. I just I guess I just didn't feel the connection, so I need to know how to use straight okay? Alex would think he's straight actually. Mainly because it's just a little boring. <laughs> That's the first gay one she saw. I think the biggest challenge was not becoming somebody other than myself. I feel like I succeeded. I eliminated Alex on the basis of he was really quiet and that made me question. I think once I found out about Alex's sexuality, that's where I'm like, oh, this is for real. None of us had any clue at all. If it wasn't for the music, as per my joke, I'm telling you. I know I make you laugh. I still really want to get to know you. You have to let me stay. Nah, she don't fuck with dude. She don't fuck with me. I have no idea how hard this is for me. Really? This this one of all the ones you, really you have no so clue I'm with this dude? Straight question. But last night that's that's what did it. I don't understand how you handle yourself when someone's just stopped. They mean it, you know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But before you go, Obviously. I need to know how to use straight everything. Come on, Ryan is still totally gay. Well, I'm sorry. Um, you made the wrong choice because I'm straight. Not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. I was shocked you know i think half the house no. is gay so he I just ain't come out of the closet yet just keep in mind that you know jackie is very sensitive girl very sweet girl and not a chance it's, uh, it's not all about the money at this point i uh was really stunned i would have never thought ryan would have gotten eliminated seeing ryan go was Shocked, absolutely. I don't. I think I was more shocked at the fact that Ryan was limited than I was that Alex was gay. Once I found out Ryan was straight, I was really sorry because I really think we could have had a connection. Whoa, she just she's looking for a suit. Oh, <laughs> she's a major league thespian. You're beautiful. What I like most about and you homosexual. is that you are indeed a very genuine person. decided to do this show is because it would be an opportunity for people to see that uh, what they thought they knew about gay people they don't really know. You cannot tell when people are gay. You come into contact with gay people every day and everything that you do. That's a little too. All right. Good luck. All right. All right. Again. Thanks. Take care. When Alex told me that he was gay, yeah, Yo, we're not gonna talk about the other dude that just we were positive about. Hope that I can figure out the rest. Jackie, here it is. You messed up. You made a mistake because I'm straight, so your odds are getting worse. And yo, what a fucking oh, not a chance, yo. Yeah, I, well, you fucked up because I'm straight. Your odds are getting worse. It's so ugh. <laughs> But getting kicked off makes me sad. Not I'm a chance. He's lying on camera. 
and it was it was really hard eliminating Ryan because you know him and I, and we had chemistry, but I don't know. Yo, she needs to. Can't do this. Her <laughs> chemist is some drug, because. Attention viewers. All right. The... I gotta go take a piss really quick. <coughs> I'm gonna leave this. All right, vet. All right, we're doing one more episode. All right, one more. All right, I'm gonna zoom by it. All right, and then that's it for the day. All right. The male contestants in this program may be lying or misrepresenting themselves at all times, including in their interviews. This sweet, innocent, Midwestern girl named Jackie left her hometown to meet 14 men. She thought she was going to find true love, but she discovered that not all of these guys are here for romance. Some of them... Alright. <laughs> Alright, we saw what happened. So, what do you think? Do you think he was straight, or do you think he was gay? So, oh, shit. Nobody has, has any idea of what's going on. You are disgusting. Yes. We left the ranch in turmoil. Don't push my buttons, dude. You totally cut it off. Good money. Yo, I'm gonna bust your head open, oh, that's, right? that's a little bit much, I think. You wanna lick my neck and choose me? Oh, that's wrong. One of the guys could not handle the pressure. Okay, you guys. I do have something a little serious to talk about. Obviously, we've all noticed that Eddie is not here. I am from Cuba! I really liked Eddie a lot, and I just was so disappointed when he just disappeared. Nobody has, has any idea of what's going on. You are disgusting. Yes. <laughs> the circumstances were so strange, because he kind of made this big scene. That guy is a Eddie just didn't really feel comfortable here anymore and didn't really feel like he belonged. You like Ryan? <laughs> Ryan is totally, he's totally gay. Eddie's gay! Eddie's gay! This Damn, they so just bullied Eddie out of the ranch. Frustrating. How mean are these fucking... And you are playing the game, so... What do you think? Do you think he was straight, or do you think he was gay? I think he was straight. Idiot. You guys, 
Show of hands, who thought he was straight? Yeah, okay, um, who thought he was gay? Well, Eddie wanted me. Yeah, he licked another dude's neck. Fuck. To let you all know that he is gay. I thought Eddie was straight. I thought Eddie was straight just by the way he acted around me and the way he flirted. Um, yeah, it makes sense why she's approaching 30 and is ending up on a game show to find fucking companionship for real. I didn't see coming at all. This makes total sense why she ended up here. Any one of these guys could be homosexual, I guess. I think that Eddie being gone makes it a lot uh, easier. And um, I guess I was kind of happy to, to, to see him go. The fact that Eddie was gay, complete shock. Complete shock. I was so to happy know about one. Eddie. And out of the four guys I eliminated, only one of them was gay. I just feel that the odds are against me. I better figure this out. You know, I thought I could go into it. I'm like, oh, this will be easy. All I have to do is just look at who's got their legs crossed, look who's drinking their decaf frappuccino, you know, all those different stereotypes. Whoever you drinks know, decaf frappuccino is gay. You know, I gotta have some sort of strategy in this because it's not gonna work. So now I'm gonna test the guys and then I'm gonna flirt with them. And I'll just see who flirts back. Bill seems to be straight. Thanks. Thanks is straight. He told me flat out that he was. I can't tell if Chris is gay or straight. He could just be a weird straight guy. I think John is straight. And I think Johnny is straight. I think Luciana is straight. Wow, Luciano. You know what? They're honestly all coming across to me as if they're straight. And it's fucking the hell out of me. Whoever's working out what a watch is gay. Absolutely. Coming up. This is where Jackie is going to get tough. Would you guys feel offended if I said you were gay? Bradley makes a million dollar mistake. Uh oh. I chose Chad to show me about this in bed because I feel that of all the guys, he was the one that paid me the least amount of attention. And there was just something about him that I didn't get. There's no The me. fact that all these I dudes know how to do breakfast in bed with a beautiful plating is yeah. sus as fuck. Yeah, I'm a total yeah. dork. Look how he made, look at that. It makes me nervous. Um, being around a beautiful woman, you know, you really, you're really cool. Hold on. You think you're one of the guys. Do you think I'm cool in I think you're cool. He, in the I do care about her feelings. Or knife. I mean, that's that's, that's a given, but like, that's where, uh, that nice my heart tea lunch. cup. All in the name of Jackie. <laughs> yogurt, cream cheese, like they're hitting every food group on that tray. Listen, if I'm doing breakfast in bed, you're getting a bagel coming out of the toaster with cream cheese. That's the limit, okay? Back in overnight bag. We're going to do a little camping today. And uh, if you got any bear repellent, bring it with you. Bear repellent? Like the, like the repellent they used on the police in January 6th? That bear repellent? Didn't mean to make it, but... I wasn't feeling him. And just the way he was talking about, you know, how straight he was and emphasizing that made me question, you know, like, why is he saying this over and over again? And that is if life is a to me. I work out a lot. I'm into women's lib, by the way. Um, okay. When he says he's not in it for the money, why would he want to be so sort of, does he really like me? Because he doesn't always flirt with me. I love the arts. I like to go to art galleries. Mm -hmm. Today he gave me kind of a mixed signal with this breakfast. He just seems to be uh, not himself. Um, yeah, well, sweetheart, I think I'm going to start uh, getting ready here. All right, darling. Bye. I think it went well. I'm pretty confident. I think I'm higher than most contestants. That overconfidence? I don't know. I just don't know, Chad. The 
before the camping trip, Whistler burst into our room and just started barking to wake us up. I'm not the camping type. I can't sleep well. You know, you don't have anything to eat. The ground's lumpy. There's bugs everywhere. I think it's going to be interesting. I think some of these guys really need a lesson in how to actually camp. Why? A real man knows how to camp. By my camp, there's not but four horses, and the rest of them are mules. The guys I picked to ride on the horses, well, they're the ones I have questions about. I'd be like the biggest pussy on this show. Like, I've never even seen a horse. Lee. Well, no, I've seen horses, okay? I'm... Christopher Dolling. And, uh, and, uh, last but not least, hmm, he's gonna be a lucky man. Uh, how about Bill? The common thought here is that if you get chosen, you know, she wants to know a little bit more, or maybe she thinks you're gay. Let's go! <laughs> Sure. George. What up, George? Yeah. Absolutely. You can it. Give thanks a kiss. Give thanks a kiss. Give me 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 a kiss. Bushes through other horses' crap. But girls like horses. I think the reason that Banks and I ended up with mules is because Jackie likes Banks. And like as, as kids, like yeah, girl, girls, girls like ponies and, and shit, and, 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 and boys usually like dinosaurs. You know, like like horses are girly. Come on. She is buying it. She's into it. In order for me to win, I think Sharif needs to be pop. I feel my biggest competition at the moment is Banks. He's fun, he's funny, he's cute. Nah. Producers would be like, hey, throw everyone off. I believe the past day. You would just blatantly say that. Take this a little more seriously. I've definitely seen changes in Jackie. She's got her eyes a lot more wide open, watching little things about everybody. Hey, can I get a yee haw? I've just been watching these guys and trying to come up with a plan, really. Hi, Whistler! Welcome to camp. You guys get unloaded and uh, kind of stow your gear over here, get things, uh, let those mules rest a little bit. I love, you, you know what I noticed about horse lovers for real? Is like, how can you claim to love an animal and just sit on it? Just willfully just sit on it. Like, I don't like when things sit on my back, you know, like, I, what the hell? I never understood that, you know. I think the horse would rather have the person off it, respectfully speaking, to the horse. I'm trying to use this opportunity that I have here while we're camping to figure out, you know, who's getting straight. Because, you know what, I really want to know. Damn, I, I don't know how to I don't know how to make this tent. She's gonna think I'm gay. And you know, it's me versus them. There's money involved. And you know what? I'm watching. No, it's not very well. Of course they're cooking hot dogs. Like burgers, nope. At this point in the game, you know, I am still confused as to whether, you know, who is gay and who is straight. Because they're all playing it off like they're straight, and I'm sick of it. I'm a total straight guy. Incredible. I'm straight. Not with my girlfriend right Incredible cutscenes. Who knows? That's why I'm here with Jack. I am a straight Incredible cutscenes. I think she's going to know I'm straight. Myself. Straight. I'm sick of being lied to, and this is this is where Jackie is going to get tough. I am. I really am. Hey, I want everyone over here because I got something to say. Make it snappy. 
Well, boys, I've been doing some thinking, and I want to say that this is a game. There is Not a much. Game. She has a very. She, she hasn't been doing much thinking. She has a very smooth brain. Thank you. And I know some of you are deceiving me. And um, I just want to let you know. Game on. I'm watching you. Game on. I'm watching you. Tonight is where it's gonna end. I'm gonna figure this out, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. For a lot of us, I Somehow, think we sort of expected her to say something. I've like been able to discriminate more against a woman than the gay watching the show. It's incredible. Some of them are really not about winning her over. They're just all about the money. That means it's too possible. She gives women a bad name, though. Let's, let's just be honest here. Gentlemen, Beans and Franks, huh? Ladies got a little bit better fare up the hill here. She told me to. Come down here and get three of you. Bill, Bradley, Chris. She got a little bit more of a romantic dinner up there. <laughs> Crawl up the hill there, boy. Right, Crawl up the hill there, boys. Well, hello. <laughs> I believe Jackie's strategy in picking the guys that she did for dinner um, was mainly because she wanted to find a thing with Gary and Hart. So I bet you that old guy's the only one show fucking what we're all about. <laughs> At this point of the game, they're honestly all coming across to me as if they are straight. So I have a question for you guys. Who do you, who in this group do you think is gay? Um, like I know, I know you've been asked that like a bajillion times. But I'm gonna start drilling people and ask questions and create a reaction. I'm gonna observe all of that and we'll see what happens. And why are you single? Why am I single? Yeah. Am I single? <laughs> um, actually, got dumped last year. Oh. Yeah, so um, I took about a year off, and I just decided about two months ago that I'm ready to you know, stick my toe back in the water and maybe try it again. Bradley, from the start, I, you know, him and I had this little thing going on where we'd smile back and forth. I don't think I want to see Brad this game. Brad, straight. Bradley, I would say, um, you know, guilty by association. Uh, he's been hanging around with Chris a lot. You oh, so man. It's just... It's Chris has been sending me mixed signals. He seems to be a really friendly guy. Not so flirtatious, so that kind of makes me think. Maybe. Chris? Maybe she's going to have, like, another Chris one of these dinner yeah. with a different group of guys. Like, how many meals does she go through? <laughs> yeah. we're, we're got, how much how much does she have to fake eat? I think Bill is straight on the basis that he is flirtatious. I can feel it. He's straight. Bill is straight. Bill gay. Bill gay. <laughs> They're redecorating the house right there. <laughs> so what do you guys think about my shaved legs? I have never, honestly, I have never seen a guy with shaved legs in front of I believe Banks is questionable. He shaves everything. His arm and his leg. Again, I'm European. That's shaving legs. Shaving legs doesn't mean shit. Okay? I've never shaved mine, but too many dudes in Italy would be out there shaving their legs. Shaving legs. I mean, in America, hmm, but I'm just saying, regularly, worldwide, not a, not a, not a, a homo breaker. I don't know that does that. How do you keep that hair on there, man? It looks gross, don't it? It looks gross. Mm, they do. It's like a fucking I mean, shiny. I mean, I shave my face, and I mean, that's all I shave. I just, well, I mean, I, I just uh, can't. Uh, you mean what? Uh, what's, you well, know, I mean, there's certain things you keep clipping, you keep trim, and, but I mean, your face, but my legs, I mean, what? Nose hair, exactly. I mean, there's certain things that you just keep trimmed, but I mean. Like, nose hair? Dude, I'm a dude. I mean, who shaves your legs? Me. Nose uh, hair? Guys... Nose hair? How old are these people? Like, nose hair is a problem? Jackie's <laughs> definitely playing the game now. Well, I don't think she's really had to try and deal with, you know, people trying to connive their way into her, you know, event promoter? Oh. You know, Good with pride. <laughs> Either a gay or gets tons of pussy. You know, gay guys are out there in this group, you know. They're obviously not in it for love, you know? So that's just, you know, it just makes it a whole new twist to it. I like, it's so weird that we would all be thinking about the murder and that someone's a yeah. guy, But I just... I, Some are. It, sounds, Some are. it yeah. sounds like such a line, but I'm not thinking about the murder. No, you're not. Just because 
I mean, it's not real to me. I've never had a million dollars, I've never seen half a million dollars, right. whatever. Yeah, so. At the end of the campfire dinner, Bradley said something. <gasps> Yo! Hold on. But I'm not thinking about the money. No, you're not. Just because, I mean, it's not real to me. I've never had a million dollars, I've never seen He said him. No, you're not. Just because, I mean, it's not real to me. I've never had a million dollars, I've never seen Had a million dollars. He's in it for a million dollars. Yo, these people be snitching on themselves. They be snitching on themselves, these people. Seen half a million dollars, whatever the answer. At the end of the campfire dinner, Bradley said something about, I'm not here to win a million dollars. Hello, a million dollars. Why do you say a million dollars in that? Oh, but when you put numbers into the fucking thing, she picks up on it. God. A million dollars? That's what a gay guy would pay. Of all the things, that went o that, that's the one thing that didn't go over her head. <laughs> I let you know that she's going to take this to, to me that I'm, that I'm gay. Um, we were talking about how, like, you know, we're, we're not in it for the money. He said his name. I'm going to have bitten through my Oh, I know. Yeah. I was just like, oh my God, I'm going home. And you're in, the, in, the, in elimination, she's like, yeah. You know, Brad, I'm like, if that was the greatest guy, you're the greatest guy, guy. Mm -hmm. but the other night, you mentioned a million. Yeah. And it makes me think. Sorry. <laughs> Sharif. You awake? Sharif. Now, she, uh, having a hard time going to sleep. She's wondering if you'd come down and pick her a tune and put her to sleep. I'd love to. Sharif and I went to, uh... Hey, she's having tired and sleeping. She picked you in particular, sir. I requested that, uh, if you come up and I have some time with Jackie, but she wouldn't get to sing her a song. Sharif has the golden ticket. Man, I would have been like, fuck that. I'm trying to sleep too. The rich get richer. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be back up here. Yeah, I keep forgetting though, there's like tons of money on the line. You know with Jackie looks so great, and then to come back and have Sharif called out to go up and serenade Jackie was such a fuzz deal. So I was not happy about it at all. But it's still a million. I mean, if you win a half million a year with her, then that's the whole idea yeah. of why it's a million no matter what, you know, for the guys, because they either get the girl money. Jackie, you come down here in the bay? Uh, this is a song I wrote probably about two years ago. It's about, it's actually about an actress I dated. You would know, but I'm not going to tell you who she is. I think Sharif is so strange. I'm, and I really hope he is, because um, he really makes me all nervous and jittery. Uh, just by the way, he sings and plays guitar. I love it. That's all it takes. Corny. <laughs> I love having him around. He's just, he seems like a really fun, down earth guy that I really would like to get to know. I mean, sure, he could, you know, most probably be gay. If he was, that's just the most amazing ploy to uh, bring a guitar and just serenade someone to death. lying if I said I was not using the guitar as a strategy. The thing is freaking me out. Please do something about it. You're scared of that. I'm gonna have all myself tonight, so I'm like, oh. I'm staying here protected from you, Joe. I can sleep on the floor if you want. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> you, really, you really would? I'd sleep on your floor. It's, I, I guarantee you that's better than I don't know you well enough for you to sleep in my bed. Understandable. She mentioned, you know, I could, I could sleep on My dog, I think she was you did that before. whole musical performance, and now you finna sleep on the floor. He either, yo, he's got to be gay. That or the world's biggest fucking simp. Okay. Pathetic. But, of course, I, I took this opportunity to Pathetic. sleep on the floor next to her. I kind of played it off as in I'll protect you from 
the evil animals of the forest and the bugs in your tent. I'll be right beside you if anything bad happens. Even if you were getting laid, s sleeping on the floor is never worth it. Uh, I mean, let's go ahead and tuck you in. Sure. And if anyone has a problem with that, like, the problem is you. I'm not even out here sounding like Kevin Samuels. Dogs sleep on the floor, okay? I tucked her into bed, and I don't know, I kind of, I felt good at that point. I was a little, a little confident. That's when the camera's yeah. got to leave the My room. Just try to give her a kiss and see what happened. And I think she took to it pretty well. She kissed back. It was it was short but sweet. Sharif, she is me, and you know, it's just you can tell that there's a chemistry, and it's just it's a feeling. You know, it's a feeling. It's a the feeling of that connection. Good night, Jackie. I have to go to the bathroom. I have to use the ladies' room. I really need a bathroom for you. Sharif and I have had a blast. Yeah, you know, I can just be myself around him, and I know that but he's absolutely adorable. You are the weirdest guy I've ever brushed my teeth with. Uh -huh. <laughs> My honest feelings about you. She's great. She's smart. She's funny. She can play guitar. She can sing. She can do all that stuff. I don't love her. I don't think I will love her anytime soon. So I guess my motivation would be the money and the exposure more so, obviously, than the love which is non existent. <laughs> Sharif not come back and have us all be up and around the campfire in the morning and have him come back with her was probably more than what everybody needed. Morning. By nature, I assume the worst, so it's difficult to sit here and feel something about somebody and have to witness it playing out for in somebody else's favor. That was probably one of the moments where I felt the least together, the least on my game. I can't stand baked beans for stew. There could very well be a murder here instead of just being eliminated. If I had a pair of scissors, I would love to chop every single one of his fingers off. You know, if the music were out of the picture, I think things would be a lot different. She really doesn't care for him except for the music. Hmm. Sharif, 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 Sharif. I'm just gonna have to kill him. Now. Trust. We have an elimination tonight that is gonna be scary. But I think all of us are going to be worried, and the only ones that shouldn't shouldn't be worried is Shereen Philly and and probably um, Banks. I'm going to be sitting there shaking in my boots because I don't know who's going to go. So who do you think it's going to be tonight? Besides yourself, maybe one of the three that you guys here go out to dinner last night. Maybe attracted to her, and I definitely respect her, but I'm still going to have to the cash. That's the real reason I think everybody's here. I mean, who couldn't use? Half a million dollars can help out with some. He had to think about it. One, but two. Yeah, I think. Listen, thirty dudes. She's on a game show. She ain't worth wifing up. Everyone's here for the money. Five hundred k back in like. In like mid two thousands, like oh five or oh four, whenever the fuck the show was made. Yo, know, that's close to like a million dollars today. We're talking like that could be like seven hundred to like eight hundred k. Like easily, like easy seven fifty, you know. But we can calculate that inflation, but yeah. Hey, and your new half socks in there. I believe that if any of the two groups, gay or straight, had to choose between the money or Jackie, they would choose the money. Love to see John go just because he annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> he's a nice guy, but I think he's just full of crap. What do you think's leaving tonight? I'm still. One or, or two of um, 
two guys from dinner. I think possibly there's a chance that um, Bill may be one of the gay competitors. Um, he's one of those that I kind of had a question about if she's playing on my vibe with you, and we're not we're not hitting on all cylinders together. Then uh, then possibly uh, could be uh, Chad. Um, could possibly be Lee. I wish you liked the fact that Lee's very smart. Same yeah. thing with you. Not you. I think from all the guys, you're the most round than one. I would love to see things go. And there is a possibility that he may be gay also, just because he's trying so hard to get her to focus on him. The swing dates are really my last attempt to figure out who I'm going to eliminate tonight. Oh, good evening, lovely lady. <laughs> I kind of wanted to turn the tables around and put them in my shoes. I, I think they now get that the game is on. I can tell this far that you're not deceiving me at all. Okay. Um, so, why don't you give me a few names of people you think who are? A few names of people who I think. Because there's not just. So one she's gonna go. In the yo, this makes no sense, yo. She's gonna go. These dudes have been pointing the finger at each other the whole time, and now she's gonna ask them to point the finger to her. Like, obviously, they're gonna just say each other. Oh, Lee said that about me? Oh, Lee's fucking gay. Not really what I thought was gonna be coming on the bill. And possibly Chris. Lee I wasn't really sure about because you know what? I hadn't really talked with him very much. And this was our kind of first official little date together. And whether or not he's gay or straight, I right now think he's gay. I was so nervous about meeting Jackie for my swim date. This girl's really getting her game on. She's uh, she's listening for small things. She's waiting for us to mess up. So what are you thinking? I don't know. I just I'm gonna be asking you a bunch of questions. Ask this, me. This is my time with you. Um, I need some help. I don't know who's deceiving me. I don't know who's lying. I don't know who's lying. I don't know who's deceiving me. I don't know who's lying. Hold on. I love this. We have to stop because in the middle of the critical race theory debate. All right. All right. All right. Here's where we left off. So Viano, who was on the cast the other day, goes, you're clear against CRT. But isn't it important to know what you're against? Can you define CRT? Right. So we're waiting and then I go, uh, give him a chance to make up the definition. If that's a theory, then why put it in the main curriculum? Oh, God. All right, yo, they've been going at it. They've been going at it. They've been going at it. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right, guys. <clears throat> Can you define it? You're clearly... Hold on. I got to click on Because I was on... Oh, here we go. It's a theory. Then why isn't it be put in the main curriculum? And not as an elective for high school students. Say sophomore year and up. It could still count as a history credit for graduation. Why is it better than American history? What did I not learn in the history I was taught? Uh, to answer that question, a lot. It's been pretty whitewashed. Wouldn't you like to go in depth about the history you learned? Viana goes, I have two children in the Florida school system, and they've been, and they've been for over 10 years and never has... I don't know what you said. What you vaguely described as CRT, but in my children's curriculum. That's true. We There's never been CRT here in curriculum. CRT right now is a college course you can take. I never took it. I took uh, race and diversity instead, but it was one of my uh, gen eds I could take. CRT is only taught in law school. Full stop. It's not. It's not. It's actually taught in many sociology classes and history. It's You could take it as a gen ed. I just chose not to, but essentially, yes, it's only in college. Anything else is a lie, and people like you have been misled and lied to. Then he goes, I think he answers his own. Oh, he, he goes again. He goes, you clearly have no relationship with the truth. You're going on proudly about something you haven't even tempt, taken time to investigate on your own about. All you do is repeat the things others are saying. 
People like you are a hop and a skip away from massacring people you don't like and disagree with. Ow! Oh, I love it. 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 I speak my own mind. This guy's a comedian that uh, regularly talks about how hard it is to be white. But he goes, I speak my own mind. I form my own opinions based on what I learn. My opinions are able to change. No one on either side has a convincing argument to support their case. My questions still remain unanswered, and my opinion is still the same. You could literally Google it. You could literally Google it. It's just you choose not to interpret what you Google. And a perfectly timed liberal personal attack. Follow their playbook and you might convince me. But people like me, who am I? Do you know me? Or are you making an assumption based on your limited knowledge of me? Of me, partly based on what you programmed to think of people like me. Well, let me see. What did he say about him? Damn. I'm just going to do popcorn hold on let me find let me find a fucking gif or whatever the fuck Let's keep it rolling. My bad. Let's see where this goes. I love it. 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 I, I miss so much. And he was squirming. So, I mean, if you become more comfortable with me and you think that I'm deceiving you, then you need to let me go. Are you deceiving me? Because oh, yesterday, no, you messed up on the X number of dollars. About what? You said one million is like half nine. I've never had a million dollars in seen. He replied. Maybe I did. I guess I just misspoke. She thought that since I misspoke, that I must be one of the gay guys who's, you know, who stands to gain a million Freudian dollars. slips, oftentimes the truthful. Well, I mean, I got well, to check. You know what? If I were you, I probably feel the same way. So I'm not blaming you, but at the same time, it's just like... We are going to okay, see an update uh, that's on... That's on because of what happened on the swing date, I this, really... Did, this Twitter okay, fight. Going home. That's, that's all there is to it. Well, yeah, I thank you for this fight. Thank you. It really has. Thank you. It really has. The eliminations have been pretty nerve wracking lately, and she's just picking people out like flies now, so, you know, everyone should be watching themselves. I think everybody's nervous um, about tonight. It's the night that we all dread. Um, nobody wants to be kicked off. Someone tells me to be prepared for anything. I think I could, I could be shocked. Hold on, I'm going to answer really quick. He goes, This conversation isn't about where it is taught. It is about if it should be. Full stop. Anything else is inferred on you. Yes, we are inferring. spell this bitch right because you know how conservatives be oh spelling mistake is believe yes we're inferring that you do not believe CRT should be taught Idiot. Fire. 
we've all kind of put in the lead to get knocked off. It's frustrating. It's frustrating because these people this vote. Is where we have to figure out who's going to lead sizzling sentinels. But Jackie needs to figure out which of you could logically be a longtime companion for her. So when she calls you up individually, that's your opportunity to tell her why you would like to stay. But if she asks you to leave, fellas, it's time for you to level with. Are you gay or are you straight? Jackie, who do you want to talk to first? Sharif. Sharif? I think he's straight, but I'm not totally sure. He's an actor. He may be really good. It does make me a little nervous for the eliminations tonight. I don't know how comfortable she was with kissing me last night. I just think we have unlimited potential together. <laughs> I'd love to stay. <laughs> She said, come over there. <laughs> she was very dark. <laughs> Luciana? Yes, she's, she's going to say yes. How Jackie is into his looks. He's really working the sex appeal with her. He'll make it and far. The bottom line is that he's gay and he's got to go. Jackie really hope they get to stay a little bit longer than Rich. With that, I'm asking you to stay. <laughs> John? John's just a, he's just a freak of nature. You know, the boy can't calm down. I think he's just a spaz, but he's straight. One thing I noticed about you is your inner beauty, and I'd like to be able to stay a little more to see you and who you really are. I, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely asking you what I said about that. <laughs> oh, send someone home already. Fuck. Banks wears very queer clothes. He's a modern man. He shaves his legs. All of the quality shaves of, his legs. Uh, of a gay guy. And go home, buddy. I said I'm genuinely interested in you. I'm truly an honor to call you a friend. Yeah, but I'd be ecstatic calling you much more than that. You know what? There's something I like about you. I'd like If there's one guy in the whole group that I think is not gay, it would be Lee. The, the guy is so boring, he can't be gay. This time that I learned that we the date that we had today, and... Straight dudes things. are boring! <laughs> yeah, you know. Kind of mysterious. Kind of makes me think. But you know what? I like it. So I well, think you're gonna you. stay here. <laughs> Chad, I believe, is straight. He just doesn't have the attitude, I would think, as a, of a gay person. Um, and there's nothing that he's done to even insinuate otherwise. Just wanted to say that, uh, you know, during breakfast, is, uh, we had a great time, and you pegged me as a, as a great listener, and you read him to talk about that. And um, I just want you to allow me to stay here at Sizzling Saddles. Um, you're a very powerful woman. You intimidate me sometimes with your beauty. And I just want to be your love slave. Um, well, Chad, I uh, must say that I also enjoyed our breakfast in bed. And um, there's one thing that got me with all, you know, all the listening that you did and all the All the listening you did. did. Give me a break. All the listening you did. Listen, she's gonna end up picking a gay guy because she wants to. She she wants to get. Uh, she wants to be in a relationship with herself. All the listening. I did. Um, I got this feeling that you're acting. That you're acting like you are straight. And I, I just think that. I think you're. 
I'm going to have to ask you to leave my ranch. But before you go, I need to know how you straight for the day. I don't even know who that dude is. He might as well not have existed for the show. I need to know how you straight are you okay? Well, you made the best decision of your life. Um, I am gay. Sorry for deceiving you. It felt really bad. At least he like apologized. At least like sorry. I'm glad it's over. I did not expect. I don't think anybody expected, other than her, was that he was gay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. All I gotta say is you had me fooled, brother. Um, I thought you were straight for sure. Chris knows that Jackie knows he's gay already and he's comic relief right now and he's floating. What can I say? Will you make me smile? And uh, I hope you're gonna stay. Well, 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 you know what? The best is yet to come, so you should get back up there and stay. <laughs> One more person to go home. It's been pretty nerve wracking. Everyone's looking at each other, you know, going, oh, I'm next, no, I'm next. Uh, God knows I could be the next person tonight to be eliminated. You know, I looked at Bill at the eliminations and he just looked so guilty. I mean, he couldn't even look me in the eye. because I can't believe no one else has how amazing you look tonight. Um, I would just like to say you are a really tough guy to read. Gay. He said that million dollar comment, he going. I'm going home, just in this right now. Send me home, Get put me out of my misery. Oh, I gotta tell you, the last couple of days have been gold. To put him out of his misery. Hmm. Um, they been really just exactly what I told you. I wanted just some time with you, you know, either alone or in a small group where you could kind of get to know me a little bit better. From the beginning, you uh, you were you were sweetheart, but you were always a little bit hard, hard to read. Do you know what? You're staying. <laughs> he said the million dollar bullshit. <laughs> Unbelievable. To go tonight, since Eddie couldn't finish the competition. So a little reprieve for y'all. Bradley is so lucky that Eddie left because tonight I would have eliminated Bradley. That is mean and hateful. Mean and hateful. Jackie. Yeah, get out of here, homo. <laughs> but... <laughs> no, no. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to nail this on the head. He just, he didn't seem like uh, himself. I took that and I ran with it and voila, he's gay. Oh, this is mine. 
I'm not a special person because I'm gay. I'm gay because that's who I am, and I'm not, I'm not disappointed with myself. I'm very upset that I lost. However, I've got a boyfriend, and he and I are, are totally, totally in love with each other. But so don't have a million up, dollars. What's up, dude? The whole lying thing while looking into her eyes was very, very um, difficult for me. Because I've lied to everybody for 21 years of my life, including myself. I'm, I'm doing exactly what I hate. Damn. So I'm probably kind of glad that, um, that she eliminated me. Damn. Oh, there's confessional. Um, we got some stuff to talk about. Right now, I am drained. I think it's gonna come down to me and thanks. It's getting down to the wire. It's getting a lot more intimate. It's getting a lot more focused. I was really surprised I didn't get kicked off at the last elimination. I thought All I right. Def Let's see what this Twitter shit is, and then we finna be out. Nothing. No response. Whatever. Um. All right, I'm gonna put these episodes up on um. I'm gonna put these episodes up on YouTube. Um. Yeah. QR code in the corner. Um, I gotta start getting ready for Eddie's place tonight, so, um, I'm gonna be at Eddie's place in, uh, Kendall, so, should be fun. Alright, yo.